Hi, this is a demonstration of IoT based underground people call detection system. So, this is a efficient system that uh, allows users or uh, authorities to check uh, cable fault so that uh, they can easily detect the fault that has uh, occurred in cable lines underground so and also it uh, pinpoints the location of where exactly the fault had occurred so for this uh, we use the circuit here to simulate cable fault and we uh, create faults using these switches here so that we can simulate uh, the cable fault detection system so as you can see these switches here are uh, used to uh, simulate as faults because uh, when we switch them we demonstrate as fault occurrence and uh, based on the last value that was received we uh, demonstrate uh, that this was the last value that was received and after that we estimate that the fault had occurred and this uh, data is sent to the online system over the internet and uh, it shows to the user or the authority in a good GUI of where the fault had occurred. So for the online system we use uh, IoT Gecko which is a free development platform and uh, we just log in there to uh, display the data and uh, as you can see we have a Atmega microcontroller based circuit here the microcontroller is connected to the LC display the uh, cable fault uh, simulation and uh, the Wi-Fi modem as you can see and also uh, the entire system is powered by a 12 volt uh, supply so let's turn on the system to see how it works so the system has been turned on and we will now log into IoT Gecko 2 so we just uh, have a user ID and password so we will log into a system if you don't have a user ID password you can just uh, create a free, free login We now have logged into the system and we have already configured the system with our circuit using the uh, Gecko API and libraries. So let's wait for the system to send values and as you can see the system has sent these values and currently since we have not simulated any fault it does not show any fault here. So let's do one thing let's uh, simulate a fault. And as you can see here, we have demonstrated three lines here. That is, uh, this is the red line, green, and uh, sorry, red, yellow, and green. So you know, we uh, assume that there are three wires going through the underground system. So this is the red wire, yellow wire, and green wire line. And this is the distance: one kilometer, two kilometer, three, four. So if we switch this here it will uh, simulate that a fault had occurred at 1 km distance so we have simulated a fault at uh, the first uh, line the first point and as you can see in the system it is displaying the fault so now let's do one thing let's switch uh, this one uh, off and let's simulate two faults so this is a fault at 3 km and this is a fault this one in the red one at 4 km so let's wait for it to transmit the data. So 
So as you can see, we have both the faults here, and uh, the system uh, displayed it on the online system. So let's simulate a fault on the yellow one too at uh, two kilometer point. So as you can see, the system also displayed uh, that fault. So this is how it uh, allows to detect cable faults over the internet. So without having to uh, go through an entire process of inspection for underground uh, fault finding, this system makes it easy to detect uh, faults in underground cables. So this is how the system works. Thank you.